everybody, today I'm at Festival ready to do some outdoor bowling. As you can see, we're in a lovely location. We've got Tower Bridge just behind us there. Lovely day as well. And we've also invited some of our resident guests on the programme to take part. As we know, it's great to do new activities. It's great to come outdoors, great for your mental health and well-being. And of course, being around positive people is really important. So we are going to be having a few games today. Let's see which team wins. I'm looking forward to it. wasn't bad. <laughs> so everybody has arrived. Hi everyone. Hey! They're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. All just going to be telling us why it's so important to do things like this, Audrey. Well, we know at the moment there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of pressures on us. It's a difficult world to live in, but the best way of coping is building resilience and one method is having a bank of positive experiences you can draw from. Whether it is getting out in the open air, hanging out with great people, having fun, learning something new, all of those are something that we can think about and smile. Wonderful. So who has actually done bowling before? A little bit. You have, yeah? A little bit. You good? I'm going to pretend to be. Pretend to be good? OK. <laughs> well, the rest of us haven't. Maybe you can teach us a few oh, moves, no, Joe. No, no, no. <laughs> so we're going to get started. Hi, guys. Welcome to Festival, one of the best events in London, obviously. Okay, has anyone played before? Ah, oh, right, so you get the idea. So, aim of the game, okay, to get your bowl as close to the white ball, which is called the jack, as close as you can, okay? Once both teams have bowled all their bowls, whoever's closest to the jack at the end gets one point for their team. Okay, so we divide into two teams. You have two coloured bowls, one colour for each team. And you go turn it in your teams, different colours. Then, like I say, whoever's closest at the end gets a point. So this is a bowl, okay, so it's designed so it's weighted on one side. So the little circle denotes the weighted side. So when you roll it down this running surface, if I roll it that way, it will bend from left to right. And if I turn it the other way, it will bend from right to left, okay? Oh, <laughs> okay, so it's all about judging how hard to roll it and what angle to bowl it at get back to the middle of the rink and near the jack. And that's basically how it works. So if you divide yourselves into two teams. So everyone, our team is called the winners. Hey, Woo! And we are the cool cats. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Right. We're gonna we cannot us. let them beat us. <laughs> and then we're going to be even, and then after that, it's like nothing stops us. <laughs> we should have come one of those. Oh, Wait, yeah. Does anyone know what is it? Three. Oh, come on, yes. go on, go on. Stop. Oh, stop, stop. stop. Ah. I'm here with Will Goy, who is the founder of this lovely activity festival. Hi, Will. Hi, how are you? you okay. I'm having lots of fun. Yeah. Tell us how you came up with this. Well, it's um, it's about time that uh, the summer party outdoor vibe is celebrated in London. There are so many amazing spaces, um, and and lawn bowls needs to be recognised in a in a much more accessible way for for everyone. So here we are doing something very different in one of the best and most iconic locations in London. So well, how long has this actually been going on? So we've been doing this for three years as Festival, so this is our third year. Um, we've been growing it at our home in Finsbury Square, just over the river, um, for the last couple of years. And this year we are growing to Pottersfield Park and over to Canary Wharf later on in the year. So we're trying to reach a new, trying to reach a new market um, different, a different sort of market, uh, a younger demographic around London Bridge and we just, all we want to do is get more and more people bowling. And why are activities like this so important? To be outside and to get away from the stresses and strains of life on, a, on what is a, a recreated bowling green in such an iconic space is just, you know, you can be at one, you, there's, no, there's no worries, 
There's no one judging. You know, this is about having fun and looking after yourself in a, in a wonderful space. So here we are at festivals and we're just about to sample some lovely food at Mama's Jerk. And Anna is vegetarian. I am. I am not. So we're both going to sample different foods. Who's this special Mama Jerk? Mama Jerk is my great-grandmother from Jamaica and what she's done, she specialised this jerk seasoning recipe many, many years ago and what she's done over the years is handed it down from generation to generation to generation. So I've got a jerk vegan oh. pancake and I'm just going to try some now. Or even a bean cake and I can taste the beans, really, really nice. Okay, so I've got jerk chicken here, jerk chicken wrap, which smells absolutely delicious. Would you like me to hold the mic while you try yeah, some? Yeah, Why I, not? I will give it a whirl. I'll give it a whirl. There's so much chicken in here. Can you see all the colours of the salad? Which is super, super. So can you taste the secret recipe? That is absolutely delicious. How was it? Guys, this is really super. I absolutely recommend Mama's Jerk. What are you going to go for? Ooh, I have to admit, I like a good piece of beef, you know, sort of rare. Beef? I, yeah, yeah, I'm really? in for that. Yeah, oh, I'm, right. a, I'm a bit of a barbecue girl. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll try a little bit of lamb. Just nice. a little bit of lamb, but, you know, I'm going where you go. Let's do yeah. it. So while you're going for that, tell us what you're sprinkling and what's happening exactly. So basically, uh, we roast it bone side down, yeah. um, and then yeah, I'm basically slicing it just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. This right. is just rock salt just to season it well. Okay. Yeah, so nothing too fancy. It's uh, obviously the bone marrow's got really deep umami flavours. Right. Uh, so when you're dipping it in the chips and you're eating it with the meat, it kind of just yeah, enhances all the flavours basically. Yeah. Mmm. So much mm. lamb. Mm. That. Yeah. That is really gorgeous. Nice. You get all the juices, all the flavours, and it goes very well with whatever that secret ingredient is. It's brilliant, really delicious. So, guys, did you have a good time? Yes! yes. Okay, so who would like to tell me about what they thought of the activity? Anybody? Go on. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. I was very bad at first, but it's great because it was easy to learn and we all got quite competitive, didn't we? It was really, it was so much fun. And we learn from each other as well because yeah. we yeah. watch each other and then we think, right, okay, let's do it like that because they're doing it like that and then yeah, you yeah. get better and yeah. it's brilliant to see yourself achieve. Yeah. So I was just actually speaking to Will and he was saying that people have this kind of misconception that, that bowling is for like older yes. people and I, but it's, it's not so, is it? It's fun. No, yeah, no, it's good fun. fun. And I needed it as well because I've had such a stressful weekend having a show and all the rest of it so it was a bit of downtime for me so I enjoyed it thank yeah, you yeah it was great fun let's speak to the man of the bunch Chris. well I thought it was brilliant it released the stress I agree with that as well and you know what it's a teamwork thing yeah. 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 we love yeah. the teamwork, teamwork. Teamy.